Hey guys, Mike Lenar is here with SimpleNursing.com, and right now we're going to go into the top three tips that you need to pass your med surge class. We have a special guest today, Caroline Porter Thomas from Empower In, the number one YouTube channel for nursing students on YouTube. She is also the author of the How to Succeed in Nursing School before, during, and after. There's really some great tips in here, like study test taking strategies, yeah. and we're going to get into the top 10 things you need to do. For med surge. So Yeah, so let's get started. Let's do it. So basically, how do you pass med surge? That's probably that's a good question that we usually get a lot on our YouTube channel. A lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just like you said, it's like I mean I get all the time like mm -hmm. med surge videos. And it's such a broad topic. It's yeah. hard to even like decide to make what to make a video on. So I mean imagine studying for it. So it's a lot. It's, it's a like lot. three times the size of and not even physiology. Yeah. yeah, it's huge. <laughs> because not only do you have to know everything about how the body works and where the locations are. Then you have to do nursing interventions when things go wrong, signs and symptoms, um, you know, medication. Well, yeah, so then you have to learn about it's the like, disease uh, process, all the pathophysiology that goes mm -hmm. on. But then when you go to the questions, mm -hmm. they're not even over that. They're basically in real-life situations, which mm -hmm. are, un they're, they're not possible to know those real-life situations unless you're a nurse. Right. So. So that's why, guys, um, the really the best way to learn med surge and to really get a good grasp on med surge is to always know and go back to the pathophysiology first. That's what I recommend. And I know nursing school, they're going to throw a lot of books at you um, and, you know, throw a lot of information. Caroline has a great tip and tip number two. But, guys, really always the basics. And what I, you know, preach on my YouTube channel is always, always, always go back to the pathophysiology. Just because if you know how the disease works, then you're going to be able to know the signs and symptoms. And if you know the signs and symptoms, you're going to know how to treat it. Um, then there are a little specific things, but always start there. Just don't, you know, jump into it and try to memorize all these signs and symptoms and, you know, pharmacology and nursing interventions. But I mean, that's what I recommend. Just try your best to understand and grasp the pathophysiology. Uh, one of the best videos I have on my YouTube channel is the liver song and it breaks down the liver, uh, in like a song. It's beginning to look a lot like cirrhosis. <laughs> <laughs> and it breaks it down into like a funny song. I, there's an entire uh, eight song album on iTunes right now for you guys. Just research my name, Mike Linares. We'll put and the link below. It. Yeah. But that's what I recommend. And as soon as you guys get the pathophysiology, then you'd recommend. So actually, um, one tip that I have for Med Surge, I, I wrote it down in my book. It's chapter, I believe it's chapter seven. This is how I studied for for med surge. Basically, I broke it down into 10 different steps, and it's in Chapter 7. But the first thing that I did before I went to class, mm -hmm. I would review NCLEX questions, which sounds totally right. off the wall because you're like, why would you review questions if you don't know the content yet? Mm -hmm. But um, take it back a step further is when I started anatomy and physiology, I was really behind because my counselor made a big mistake and he accidentally put me in anatomy physiology two instead of one. Oh. So I know some people do that. They do the, the physiology part first instead of the anatomy first, but I was not a very good student before. So anyways, I decided to take on a challenge. So one thing that I did before I even started class was I, first I started trying to write um, note cards, mm -hmm. but my hands just physically could not do it. it. There was every chapter needed about 100 note cards. It just wasn't physically possible. So what I started doing was I started just like um, underlining words before the class. And then what I noticed was that even if I understood only one word in an entire lecture, I would light up. I'd be like, oh my God, I understood <laughs> one word that she said. So That's awesome. Yeah. And so when I started nursing school, I was start, I started nursing school with a 3.7 GPA. I was like, I'm accepting nothing less. Like, I want a 4.0. Like, that's it. And then so I did everything that I did for anatomy physiology, and then I got the test. And I was furious because it was over absolutely nothing that was taught in lecture. It was absolutely oh, over nothing. That. Yeah, it's like, it's crazy. These tests are crazy. It was absolutely over nothing that was in the the book. Mm. Not, like, you could not read the book. Like, a, a, a smart person, I, I mean, I'm not, like, super intelligent, but a smart person could not read the book mm -hmm. and pass the test. It's impossible. Wouldn't oh, you agree? Like, I... Well, there's instructors out there that will, you know, yeah, lecture on totally something different, pull like a <laughs> test somewhere from outer space. Yeah. And then, yeah. So it's crazy. So then when I found NCLEX questions, I was like, oh, this is great. So I'll just review questions before 
the lecture. Mm -hmm. And I also still did the underlining because that still helped. And I have videos on that also. I'll actually put a link below to my main like study video to help you guys out. Mm -hmm. But that like reviewing questions prior to class really helped me like understand even just a few words. The only yeah. goal of nursing school is to help you pass the NCLEX. And it's funny because I didn't even know what the heck the NCLEX was until halfway through nursing school. <laughs> I was like, what is the NCLEX? <laughs> I just thought you graduated and you get to work in a hospital. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You have to actually pass your <laughs> national board register. It's like a bar exam yeah. for nurses, like the law bar exam. So if your school is not having a high enough NCLEX pass rate, your school will actually be under investigation and be shut down or... At least it the can be, yeah. accreditation will be taken away. Yeah. So that's why we say, like, you know, study the NCLEX questions before your tests because it's going to help you prepare for the actual test. If, if your school's testing the way they should be testing. Yeah, they, they have to test with those kind of questions. Have to. They do. They have no choice. Like, they're, yeah, there's yeah, they're not. They're content. not out there to, like, get, get you know, yeah. get to you. It's, they have to. They have no choice because that's the way the NCLEX is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the harder the class is, the better they're preparing you for NCLEX. Mm -hmm. It's true. Well, that's why there's um, really <laughs> yeah. um yeah, and re that's the reason why a lot of nursing programs will rather fail you in nursing school than have you graduate and never pass the NCLEX. Yeah, because it looks bad on it. It hurts the school. Hurts the school, yeah. and that's why people say it's a conspiracy theory that you know, nursing school wants to fail me when in actuality they only want to pass people who are passing the NCLEX. So. Technically, does nursing school have to be that hard? Not really. Go on YouTube and you'll find our videos. Beta blocker video. Awesome video. <laughs> I love that video. <laughs> that's, that's the simplistic way of saying it, that nursing school is only tough on you so they can fail out the people they don't want to fail the NCLEX and give them, you know, the school a bad name. Yeah, that's true. So... So guys, we really hope that you like these tips on how to study for med surge. If you want to see more collaboration videos, then please give this video a thumbs up. And we'd love to um, we'd love to read your comments, so please post a comment and maybe we'll do a video for you. So anyways, I can't wait to see you guys next time. I love you. Bye. Bye.